Welcome to Cedar Crest Ice Cream. Many people want to know if Cedar Crest will do tours. Unfortunately, with all of the rules, regulations, and tight space in our plant, we can't do that. But what we can do is provide you with a video tour to show you how our delicious ice cream is made and how it is handled until it arrives in your grocer's freezer case. We will provide you with a behind-the-scenes tour of two of our facilities and show how our ice cream products are made available for you. Our video tour will take you to our two separate facilities that are approximately 60 miles away from each other. The manufacturing plant located on South 10th Street in Manitowoc is only two blocks away from the western shore of Lake Michigan. Our corporate offices and distribution center are located just north of the city of Cedarburg on Highway 60. To complete the tour, a visit to a local Manitowoc grocery store will showcase product waiting to be purchased and enjoyed by our next satisfied customer. Let's get started. Quality control is the heartbeat of Cedar Crest ice cream. Here in our lab at our Manitowoc plant, we do many tests to assure the product you receive will be safe, consistent, and delicious time after time. When ingredients arrive at our manufacturing plant, they are tested here in the lab for their compliance against our company standards. When production is about to begin, we are routinely taking samples before we start processing as well as during processing and test them against federal and state regulations, as well as our own company specifications. We routinely test for butterfat, solids, coliform, and allergens, and do many other tests and procedures. Quality control is responsible for ingredient statements, nutritional statements, allergen statements, new flavor development, etc. Thanks to our quality control department, our plant has received an excellent rating as the result of the safe quality foods on it, which is done annually at our plant. We are very proud of this rating and hope this certification reassures our commitment to quality for our customers. All of the Cedar Crest ice cream is made in Manitowoc at our manufacturing plant. It begins right here as we enter the mix making area. It is in this room where recipes are strictly followed and the ice cream mix is made from scratch. We blend our locally sourced cream and all of our liquids and dry ingredients in this variable high speed blender, which is mounted on load cells, recording the exact weight of each ingredient being used for each batch of mix. Once ingredients are blended, they are pumped into one of three 500 gallon vat pasteurizers and then filled with the correct amount of ingredients. The mix is then slowly heated up to 160 degrees. Upon reaching that temperature, the mix is held for 30 minutes. The mix is now pasteurized. A very important note here is that vat pasteurization is a slow process. This was how all ice cream manufacturers pasteurized their ice cream mix before the invention of HTST, or high temperature short time, which will pasteurize the mix in a few seconds and not the 30 minutes that it takes us to pasteurize. But because we believe this process produces a unique flavor and consistency in the ice cream mix, we feel this is the way it should be made. Cedar Crest is one of only a few companies that still use vat pasteurization in small 500 gallon batches. Okay, back to the process. Now pasteurized, the ice cream mix is drawn into a machine called a homogenizer, which is designed to stabilize and standardize the size of fat globules by pushing the mix through a very small orifice under pressure. This process also contributes to giving ice cream its smooth texture. Upon exiting the homogenizer, the mix then travels through a heat exchanger where the temperature of the mix drops from 160 degrees Fahrenheit to 38 degrees Fahrenheit in just a few minutes, and then proceeds to travel to one of our six holding tanks, which vary in size from 8,000 gallons to 1,000 gallons. There the mix will be stored until needed the next day. We now move into our flavoring and packaging area. To make a flavored ice cream, it starts with flavoring the base mix. To make a flavored mix, we start by drawing mix from one of the holding tanks and transfer it into one of two three compartment flavoring vats. Once the vat is filled to the desired level of mix, colors, flavorings, and fruit purees are added to the mix according to the recipe. The flavored mix is then pumped into the continuous freezer where air is metered into the mix just prior to entering the freezer barrel. Air incorporation is known as overrun, which is needed to make the ice cream scoopable. Without air in the ice cream, it would be like trying to scoop a block of ice. 
So as the flavored mix is then pumped through the freezing cylinder, it is transformed from a liquid mix at 38 degrees down to a semi-frozen 21 degree ice cream product upon exiting the freezer, similar to what the consistency is for soft serve ice cream. The semi-frozen flavored ice cream flows directly to a packaging machine or is diverted to an ingredient feeder where inclusions such as nuts, berries, cherries, cookies, and candies are dosed and then blended into the ice cream flow and then into a waiting container. All of the containers we use for our packaging are preformed for us, ready to be filled, except our three gallon containers in which we form in-house. As you can see, a white plastic ring, which will actually be the top of the formed three gallon container, is placed onto the first former station. Then the side wall of the container, which is flat before it is popped open, is then slid onto the frame former station as well. The machine then cycles around to the next forming station where the plastic ring is pressed and secured into the container. The machine cycles for a second time. At this station, a flat paper disc is heated and pressed onto the container, making the bottom of the container. The machine cycles to perform the final step, which is to discharge a preformed container and is then conveyed to the filling room, ready to be filled with ice cream. We have many different sized containers from three ounce cups all the way up to three gallon containers that are filled. Because we do so many different sized containers, we use many different filling machines, which are mobile. Our production schedule will tell us what machines are needed for the day, so the plant floor does take on a different look from day to day. Once the containers are filled and sealed, depending on the container size, they are placed into trays, boxes, or placed directly onto the main product conveyor, heading to the in-feed conveyor for the sharp freeze conveyor. At this point, the products are grouped to provide the most efficient freezing point for the ice cream. Now looking at our control panel for the spiral freezer, the product is transferred onto a 42-inch wide stainless steel belt, which spirals around a large drum-like cylinder. As the product moves on through the spiral freezer, the freezer temperature is at a minus 39 degrees. Who knows what the wind chill is with eight huge fans blowing. Probably a minus 60 degrees below zero. It will take approximately 100 minutes to drop the temperature of the ice cream another 30 degrees. So when the product is discharged from the spiral freezer, it is at a minus 10 degrees at its core, or in other words, as hard as a rock. This method of hardening the ice cream is very much sought after to try and maintain the smooth texture of the ice cream. Now we will see the containers coming out of the spiral freezer and traveling down to where the containers are sorted to either be wrapped or just to be palletized as is. All retail packaging is wrapped for ease of handling and to keep the product clean before they are sent through a special x-ray metal detector prior to being palletized along with the rest of the containers. The X-ray machine is highly accurate at detecting foreign objects, and it is checked hourly for its accuracy. In this room, it is a balmy 5 degrees above zero and is where all of the ice cream products are again sorted by size and flavor. We can have up to four different product lines coming into this room at one time. Packages are then stacked onto pallets. Once palletized, the containers are stretch wrapped onto a pallet and then placed into our storage freezer, which is held at minus 20 degrees, until it is released by quality control, which is usually the following day. It is then loaded onto semi-trailers designed to haul ice cream for delivery daily to our distribution facility in Cedarburg. Here is our location on Highway 60 in Cedarburg, which is home to our corporate offices and distribution center. In June of 2018, we opened a 12,000 square foot addition to our distribution freezer in Cedarburg. This addition more than doubled our storage capacity of this freezer. Total capacity is approximately 2,500 pallets. This addition was needed to accommodate the ever increasing volume of new and existing Cedar Crest ice cream products. All of the ice cream that is made in Manitowoc is transferred to this freezer before being distributed. Here in the freezer, we maintain a temperature of 20 degrees below zero. Orders are picked and placed on delivery carts or carts to be hand loaded onto trucks. Once the orders are complete, the delivery carts are stretch wrapped and are then loaded either directly onto delivery trucks or onto semi trailers for delivering to outlying Cedar Crest delivery trucks that, due to the distance from Cedarburg, do not return to be reloaded. Cedar Crest operates a fleet of three semi-tractor trailers and 20 specially made ice cream delivery trucks, 
which delivered to customers throughout Wisconsin, Northern Illinois, Eastern Minnesota, and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Many distributors help fill in areas which are not serviced by the Cedar Crest delivery trucks, both in and out of state. I'm sure many of you have seen our hard to miss yellow Cedar Crest ice cream trucks with the scoops of ice cream traveling down the road. Here at a local grocery store, our truck arrives and our route representatives begin to unload the order for the store. Once the order clears the check-in procedure, the next stop is the grocer's freezer case. Here our route representatives are unwrapping, rotating the ice cream and stocking the freezer case so you, the customer, has your favorite flavor waiting for you to enjoy. Thank you for taking this behind the scenes tour of Cedar Crest Ice Cream. We hope you've enjoyed viewing the many different steps that it takes to make our delicious ice cream and preparing it for your enjoyment.